Welcome back, and we're going to look at scoring a game. As you can see, we have all our fielders and our batting lineup. We start by pressing the pitch button in the middle. You can see we have a ball, called or swung strikes, foul, ball in play, and a few other options. Let's start with a ball in play. You can see you can get ground ball, hard ground ball, fly ball, line drive, bunt or pop fly. Let's look at this as a hard ground ball. Next one you see the batter was out at first, or he hit a single, double, triple, it was an error, foul ball, or a home run. Let's look at this as a single. Now it's where the ball was hit to. Let's say he hit this to centre field, move the player to where the ball was collected. That's done. As you can see, the batter has now moved to first base. Next let's look at a pick-off attempt by the pitcher. If you pull the runner off the bag, you have options now for out or safe. Let's put him back safe on the base, and it was attempted pick-off. Okay. Next we'll look at a balk by the pitcher. If we press pitch, scan down to your options at the bottom for balk, and press balk. As you'll see, the runner has been advanced one base. Next one we want to look at is catcher's interference. Scan down, so C interference, just catches interference. If you press that, the batter will be advanced to first base. Let's have a look now at reaching on an error. Okay, let's press your pitch button. There's a ball in play. Let's call it a ground ball. Scan down, there is an error. Let's make it an error by the second baseman. Press done. Everybody advances and everybody is safe. Let's have a quick look at a fielder's choice. Press your button. Ball in play. Let's call it a ground ball. Scan down. Fielder's choice. As you're all aware, the fielder's choice is where a fielder makes a choice to get someone else out apart from the batter going to first. So if we press fielder's choice, let's say it went from the shortstop to second base. Done. Now we have a few options. It's asking whether the runner coming home was safe out. He was safe, the runner running to third base was safe, but the runner going to second was out. So you can see now we have corners. The next one we'll look at is a double play. Press the pitch button, ball is in play, let's call it a hard ground ball. Now the batter is hit into a double play, so the batter is out, double play, so from the shortstop to second to first, Press done. Again, it's asking if the runner coming home was safe. We'll say yes. The other two are out. Okay. Finished of the innings, we will accept and switch. Okay. We have the opposing team fielding now. Let's have a look at a, a couple of things. Let's just put a runner on base, ball in play. Ground ball, single. Let's run the run first. Let's have a look at a stolen base. So before the pitch is made, the runner takes off, goes to second, and he's safe. And it's asking how it was, how he got there safely. It's a stolen base. A few other options. We'll put stolen base. Let's have a quick look at fielding changes. The coach comes up and says, "I'm going to change my pitcher." If you Tap the pitcher's name, it'll give you the option of people who are in the field and who are sitting on the bench. Let's change him. Remember, these are, these are changes, not substitutions. Just have a quick look at that one again. We'll change the first baseman, that Mr Smith, and we'll put Jill Miles at first base. Okay. The last thing we're going to look at is ending an innings before three out. If you press your menu button, you'll have options here. You can exit the game without saving, game over, settings, manual override, which will change your count. Sometimes there's only f five runs and it's side away, depending on your league, or end half innings. We'll just end the half innings. That is done. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll look at substitution.